Welcome to Naresh IT. This is Kishore and now I am going to give the example for functions returning member functions returning the values. Okay. In previous session we have discussed uh, how to pass the parameters to the functions. Now this time I am going to give you how to receive the return values from member functions. Okay. Now watch this I am going to conduct the example. First uh, as usual common header files first uh, I was stream.h and conio.h common next class. Now, I am going to class start a class. This time I want to conduct normal class for example, class test. Okay. Now, test is a class and it is having two members i and t a comma b. Now, a and b are what? Data members. a and b are what? Data members. Now, I want to send the values to the a and b. Public void read data. Okay. And I want to show you arguments for this one. That is why void read of i n d x comma i n d y. And one more thing, I want to conduct the function definition inside the class. Okay, because of there is no complex statements now, that is why I am going to conduct the definition inside the class. Now, i n d x comma y are what? Parameters. Now, x is having some value, y is having some value. They have to received by a and b, that is why a equal to x and b equal to y and brackets close. Now, what happened? x value copied into a, y value copied into B. That is why sending of data completed through the parameters. Next, I want to show the data. Then, for showing the data, void show data function. Okay. Next, first I want to print the A value. See out A equal to A and, and see out B equal to B and now this function also completed now read data is for input purpose and show data is for output purpose next now here my requirement is i want to perform the biggest number i want to perform the biggest number in a and b okay i want to find out the biggest number in a and b that's why i need one more function now that function is int big okay here i'm going to write i and t big of next I am going to write like this if uh, a greater than b return a else return b now bracket close now what happens we are sending some values now for example a value 10 b value 3 I have the values like this a value 10, b value 3. Now, I want to find out which one is the biggest one. That is why this function i and d big. Now, a value is what? 10 and b value is what? 3. 10 greater than 3 condition true. When condition true, return a. Now, this value is going to return to the main because of generally we are calling from main function. Next, suppose I have entered 10, 30. 10, 30. Now, 10 greater than 30 condition false. That is why here which one is big? B value. That is why return B value means 30 is going to return and return value is what? Integer na? That is why here return data type is integer. Next, now we have to receive this values na? For that, first of all we have to call the function. Where from where we are calling main function? That is why void main. Now, I am going to write the main. First, uh, object required. Our class name is what? Test. That is why test t. Test t. Test t means t is the object. Okay. Now, object created. Next, calling the member functions. Before that, screen clear. Total screen is clear. Later, we have to call the functions now. t dot read data and read data is having 
arguments na that's why here we have to send the arguments for example 10 comma 7 now what happens when read data is called it is carrying 10 comma 7 they are received by formal parameters x and y they are received by formal parameter x and y now x value becomes 10 y value becomes 7 ok that is why here 10 here 7 because of they are received by a and b that is why x value passed to a y value passed to b now a and b becomes 10 and 7 ok fine later we have to show the data t dot show data now show data when show data is called what a value printed b value printed means 10 and 7 are printed on the screen a equal to 10 b equal to 7 later we have to find out the big also no? that is why here big function is returning the a value and a and b are what into here that is why we have to store the return value somewhere in variable ok that is why here i and t ok for example max equal to t dot big that is all now what happens it is the function calling t dot big when this function is called it goes to this area now ok fine later a value a value is what 10 b value 7 10 greater than 7 condition true when condition true return a a value 10 10 is going to return that value is going to store in max ok that value is going to store in max that is why max value becomes 10 because of it is the biggest suppose I have entered 70 suppose just assume 70 now 10 greater than 70 condition false when condition false what happens return b else part is executed b value is what 70 that 70 is stored in max that is why in both situations the biggest value is stored in max now we have to print the big number now that is why c out ok here max is big ok now what happened max value replaced max value is for example 70 that is why 70 is big suppose 10 7 now here 10 value is stored in max that is answer 10 is big ok in both situations it is giving either 10 is big or 70 is big like this ok now get ch program close now the program is close like this we can pass the parameters to the function and we can return the values from the function now it is the example for functions with arguments and with written values means member functions with arguments and with written values ok and here the point is here class is started data members declared member function declared and member functions completed no? that is why here we have to close the class that is why here class also closed now here class started here class completed and it is the main function ok it is the fun member functions with uh, arguments and return values now there is a problem with this program this program is working properly but the problem is what if both the numbers are same then what happens for example i have given 10 and 10 i have given 10 and 10 now the situation is 10 greater than 10 condition false that is why it returns b b value is what 10 that is why it says uh, 10 is big but actually it have to give the answer what both are equal ok here in this example you are getting 10 is big but actually 10 is not big because of 10 and 10 both are equal then it have to say what both are equal now how to conduct that example ok how to conduct that example in next session I will cover ok thank you. Thank you.